Okay, so we got a new version of Retrobat, and this is the version 6 in beta. So for those not aware what beta means, it just means it's in pre-release, and it's not quite finished yet, but I'd imagine the real release of this, the stable release that is, is going to be pretty soon, hopefully before Christmas. So if we head over to the Retrobat changelog section, link's going to be in my description, we're going to find lots of fixes. And let's just bear in mind that the team are likely going to incorporate more fixes once the stable release of version 6 releases. So for now, what we can see is that they've actually fixed issues with guns on Swan Station, uh, Swan Station being a PlayStation Retro Arch Core. Uh, we got many different fixes here, uh, Semu, Wii U, V-Sync, fixes and for those of you using the yuzu emulator which i covered a little while back there's actually a handheld mode fix being incorporated into this one as well so many different fixes just there and if we just scroll down a little bit more uh, they're also going to be incorporating into the stable version 6 by the seams of it uh, possibility to use video splash screen in emulation stations so that would be really exciting to look forward to now randomly, not that I've seen it personally, uh, but they've actually now fixed uh, the Wii U release date to 2012 and uh, funny enough it actually says it says 2010 before but like I said I've never actually realised that said 2010. And the best part of this is that we got updates of emulators in course, and there is so much here. Uh, one of the ones I'm looking forward to actually is to add Simple 64 for N64. So I covered N64, Simple 64, a standalone emulator on my channel. And Simple 64, it's a fairly new N64 emulator. So we're gonna test this one out. And another good thing is that we've actually got a new Sega Saturn core or emulator. So so it seems which is SSF now I also covered SSF on my channel as a standalone emulator and the good thing about this one is is that you don't actually need any BIOS files to run SSF games and we've also got several different ports here uh, we've randomly got Gong port and we also got XRIC which is a Rick dangerous port and for those of you who knows anything about computer history they're actually adding Jinx which is a computer's Lynx emulator or core and if we scroll down a little bit more for PlayStation 2 fans, we've actually got a PCSX2 Retro Watch Libretro Core come in by the seams of it. And if we just go right to the bottom here, we've also got many updates for standalone emulators, which we of course can download in Retrobat itself. So there's a lot there. And just bear in mind, the Retrobat team, they always advise never to update your emulators within Retrobat. And the reason being is that these emulators and cores, they're all designed specifically for Retrobat to work inside it. And that's why the Retrobat team says never to update, manually update these emulators. Now under features, we got some new mega bezels coming. We got some new features for SNES 9X coming. For players of PlayStation 3 through Retrobat, we got some new RPCS3 features. Uh, we also got some features for PlayStation 2, PCSX2, and another feature to the Switch emulator, Yuzu. So there is a plentitude there of new features and new updates coming to Retrobat 6, but it seems a bit, like I said just a minute ago, it's quite likely when it does release the real stable version it releases, there's going to be even more. So what I do suggest is if you want to download this, don't update it to beta through Retrobat itself, because if anything breaks, then let's just be sure to realize that retrobat beta might completely screw up your setup so in that case maybe install it to a usb drive for me what i've done is just uninstalled my tester of retrobat which i do for my channel and i'm going to install the retrobat version 6 beta from scratch and if you want to do this i'll leave the link in my description for the github website if we just scroll down we're going to do a fresh install a beta and i'm using windows 64 bit so i'm going to just download the exe okay so once we downloaded the exe or executable let's just install this so double left click and we're going to go through the similar process to what it would have been when you installed retrobat for the first time so i accept the agreement next 
and we're just gonna take a read through that if you like and it's also reminding us that we also need dependencies such as Visual C++ and DirectX and you can grab those from the link on the Retrobat website if you don't have them if you don't have these then Retrobat isn't gonna function properly so we're gonna go to next and I'm going to install this to my hard drive, which is C drive. Like I say, if you want to install this to a USB drive, then just go to browse and then just navigate to the drive, which you want to install it to. For me, I'm going to just press next and also create a desktop shortcut next. And if you get talking about Microsoft DirectX, just press yes to this. Okay, so that setup's now finished. We can just press finish here. And we got the new desktop shortcut, which looks pretty cool. I like that one. And so we can now delete that .xc. Okay, cool. So let's open this up. Okay, cool. So we're now inside a Retrobat beta version 6. Now, let me just show you, if you are running a stable version, if you want to update this to this beta version, which I don't necessarily recommend, if you do want to do it, then just go to main menu, updates and downloads, and you're going to find check for updates. Just make sure updates is checked. And under update type or something in that effect, you're going to find stable in beta. So if you want to install beta over your pre-existing stable version, then just select beta and then start update. But like I say, I don't recommend it, especially if you're new to Retrobat. If you've got a nice version and everything's running fine, there's no reason to install the beta update on this. But like I say, I'd personally rather install it separately to a USB drive just to test it out. So let's just move over to the Retrobat logo. And this is where you can download emulators. So what I'm interested in seeing is the implementation of some of these new emulators. So let's check out if they're actually here. So our first one we got is the Jinx Computers Lynx, which I mentioned. Uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's a very dated British computer. And here we go. So as I was mentioning just now, we can actually now download Simple64 for N64, which I'm going to be testing in a minute. And here's the next one I just mentioned, the SSF Sega Saturn emulator. Pretty cool stuff. We're going to also download and check that one out. And another one for ZX Spectrum fans is the implementation of having the ZSAR UX2. So if you're into ZX Spectrum, and I also believe that we can set up the new Spectrum Next system using this emulator just here. So what I'm gonna do is just go back up to SSF. So yes to install. And here we go, brilliant stuff. And the other one I'm going to download is Simple64. We're going to install that as well. Yes. So let's just come out of Retrobat. So main menu. Now, the reason I've downloaded both of those is because I've got a couple of games and I'm going to add them and test them out. So I'm going to just right click on the shortcut again for Retrobat, open file location. And like I say, SFF for Sega Saturn uh, doesn't actually require BIOS files. So I'm going to just add these games into my ROMs list here for Retrobat. So I'm gonna first of all find Nintendo 64, N64, and I've got, of course got the very awesome Golden Eye to test Simple 64 out on. 
and I'm also going to then navigate or scroll down to save Saturn. So if we find Saturn just here, Saturn, and what I'm going to do is just drag in my Sega Saturn game, which is the awesome Alien Trilogy. And let's open up Retrobat again. Okay, so we can now see Sega Saturn and we've got N64. So if we go inside of N64, I'm going to go to view options, advanced system options, emulator, and here we go. We now got simple 64. So I'm not going to download any artwork for this. I'm literally doing this as a tester. So I'm going to just make sure that's on simple 64, which it is. And I'm going to just open it up. See that's working just fine. So what I'm going to do then is actually bump up some video settings. So view options, advanced system options, internal resolution. I'm going to attempt to bump this one up to four times to really make this look good. Vertical sync, I'm just going to make sure this one's on yes to eliminate any screen tear. Uh, visual rendering, anti-aliasing, I'm going to pop this one on yes. Now, anti-aliasing, it takes away jagged edges. Okay, let's open up Golden Eye. And as we can see, that's a little bit laggy, but that's probably just down to settings. So GoldenEye works fine using Simple64 emulator. And the next one I'm going to actually go to is Sega Saturn. But before that, I'm going to just go to ports. And from here, we can now see Rick Dangerous port. And you know what? Instead of going into that Sega Saturn, I'm going to open up X Rick. Such a great game. So anyways, let's look at Sega Saturn. And like I say, we've got SSF now. So we're going to go to view options again, advanced system options, emulator, and here is SSF. Now, like I say, when I'm setting up SSF as a standalone emulator, it doesn't require any BIOS files. So let's just open this one up without video settings applied using SSF. Now, the reason it's going to technically say missing BIOS files is that other emulators, of course, are going to require them.
We've lost contact with the colony on LV-4. And that's it, so everything appears to be working fine through the beta version, but I can't stress enough, if you're new to Retrobat and you've already got a good working setup, there's no need to update your current stable to the beta. So if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, check out my Retrobat playlist and dear lord, I have many Retrobat setup guides and there's still many more to come. So hit notifications so you don't miss any upcoming Retrobat or emulation related content that I upload every day on my channel, just Jamie. Also like and subscribe and check me out on social media too. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.